Look at this. How gorgeous is this? So perfect for, honestly, this, of course it's perfect for Valentine's Day, but you can make this any time of year. And everyone is going to be obsessed. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a strawberry trifle. So this is gonna be a perfect dessert. You can make it for family, for a party, I mean, just as a snack. Um, it's actually really, really easy. The cake portion of this recipe is actually a microwavable cake. So I will link that down below for you guys to make it. It's super simple. It's one of my most popular recipes here on my YouTube channel, so make sure you give that a try. But um, yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna go over the ingredients and then I'm gonna show you step by step on how to make this. Okay, so here we have some diced strawberries with some whipped cream, cream cheese. And I will link everything down below for you, so don't worry. Here we have some little heart shaped, oh my God, look at you, some heart shaped strawberries. I'm gonna show you how to make these right now. Some homemade strawberry jam. I'm gonna show you how we make that, super simple. And then here we have our cake. And this cake here, believe it or not, is actually microwavable. Let's go ahead and get started with our heart-shaped strawberries. So this is really, I mean, of course they don't have to be heart-shaped, but doesn't that look so much cuter? It does. So we cut off a little tail. And now we're going to do a little V. A little V. Okay, so it's gonna look something like that. And then you just kind of round off the little tips. You just kind of round off the edges so that it looks more like a heart. Does it look like a heart? Okay, so now that it looks more like a little heart, you just slice it and you'll see how all of a sudden you have hearts. Okay, and now we have our heart little, look at that, it's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to, how to layer it. Okay, so this here, I'm actually making it for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna have it set up and it's just gonna be our little dessert after dinner because of course I'm gonna set up um, a Valentine's Day dinner. It's gonna be nice and romantic. And so this is super simple. Um, I'm gonna show you obviously how to do it, but you can totally make this for your loved one or even if you're gonna do like Valentine's Day with yourself or you know girlfriends this is gonna be it's so so cute you're gonna see how it's plated and it just looks like really fancy and it's so easy okay so this is our cake and what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just going to start cutting like little you can totally crumble it but just so that it looks a little more presentable um, I'm actually gonna kind of I don't know dice it so it's gonna look like me little baby croutons okay Okay, so if you wanna do an individual size, you can use little wine glasses, but of course I'm making a large portion, so I'm gonna make it in here. Okay, so now we're just going to scoop it up. Just like that. You're gonna fill the bottom. Next, we put our strawberries, and you're just gonna place them in there wherever they, you know, they don't have to be, it, this doesn't have to be like super organized be kind of messy because it's still gonna look really pretty okay so we put a few of the strawberries on the side just so you can see it once everything gets layered so now we're going to we're gonna start piping in the whipped cream and I'm gonna show you how I do it it's just super simple we're going to uh, fill it in with our strawberries and cream. Okay, so now we get some of the strawberries and cream and we're gonna place that right in the center. So that's why you don't have to put the cream in the middle. 
Okay, now we get some of our homemade strawberry jam and we're just going to drizzle that inside. This is a little more tarty, so it's going to be like, it's just gonna add to the flavor because everything's kind of sweet. And this is optional. You don't have to make your own strawberry jam, um, but you want to get it on the side so that you can actually see the layer, okay? Because at the end of the day, yes, it's gonna taste delicious no matter what, but you still want it to look really pretty. So there's our first layer, and now we're gonna go ahead and get our second layer of cake. Okay. And then you can crumble a little bit of it. Because that way when you bite, when you take a bite, it's not just like crumbly. You're gonna have like little pieces of cake. Our little hearts. Okay, so you want to make sure that you add a generous amount of cake so that you can actually see the cake in the layers. Because if not, it'll just get lost in the whipped cream. Okay, now we get our strawberries and cream. Okay, so now we're going to finish it off with another layer of cake. Okay, so now to finish this off, we're just gonna add a fresh strawberry right on top. And I have these cute little designs, these little, um, little Valentine's Day decorations. Look at this. How gorgeous is this? So perfect for, honestly, this, of course it's perfect for Valentine's Day, but you can make this any time of year. And everyone is going to be obsessed. Okay, and now it's time for the taste test. Okay guys, so now of course it's time for the taste test. And look at how beautiful this turned out. I'm gonna get a big bite because this is my favorite dessert. That's why I'm making it for Valentine's Day. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God, I'm not even joking. This is fire right here. You guys have to try this. Even if you don't end up making it for Valentine's Day, this is a perfect dessert for after dinner, if you have friends coming over, a gathering. It's just one of those desserts that everyone's going to love. But I mean, can you believe that this is from a microwave cake? Like, no one would ever know that the cake is micro like a microwave cake. I'm telling you right now. So make sure that you guys try out the uh, layered cake recipe that's also microwavable. I'm gonna link that down below. That's where you're gonna get the recipe for the whipped cream cream cheese. And that again, we'll link it down below. Take check it out. You're gonna see it. Ha there's a chocolate ganache there that you're going. That's like mind blowing. So I hope you guys really enjoy that. But this recipe here is so easy to make. It's super delicious and I just know you're going to love it. Okay guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. Make sure you check out my blog. The recipes are on there and they are printable now, which is at lowcarblove.com. And if you want a little more of me, then of course, make sure you're following me on Instagram and on TikTok. Okay guys, then comment down below if you tried this recipe. Let me know what you think. I love watching your recreation, so don't forget to tag me. Guys, thank you for being here with me. I love you so much and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.